pre-oxygenate the patient with a bag valve mask with 100% oxygen while assembling the equipment. Test cuff inflation system by injecting the maximum volume of air into the cuffs. That would be 60 cc's. Ensure that you remove all air from both cuffs prior to insertion. Apply a water-based lubricant to the beveled distal tip and posterior aspect of the tube, taking care to avoid introduction of lubricant in or near the ventilatory opening. Ensure that you've oxygenated the patient with 100% oxygen for at least one minute. Position the head. The ideal head position for the insertion of the King Airway is the sniffing position. However, the angle and shortness of the tube also allows it to be inserted with the head in a neutral position if C-spine issues, C-spine precautions are an issue. Hold the King LTSD at the connector with the dominant hand. With the non-dominant hand, hold the mouth open and apply a chin lift. With the king rotated laterally at a 45 to 90 degree angle, so that the blue orientation line is touching the corner of the mouth, introduce the tip into the mouth and advance behind the base of the tongue. Never force the tube into position. As the tube passes under the tongue, rotate the tube back to midline, so that the blue orientation line faces the chin. Without exerting excessive force, advance the airway until pro the proximal opening of the gastric access lumen is aligned with the teeth or the gums. This would be the color-coded connector. The bottom of the color-coded connector should be even with the teeth or gum line. With the syringe, inflate the airway cuffs with the minimum volume necessary to seal the airway at peak ventilatory pressure. In this case, 60 cc's of air or one full syringe with the included syringe with the in airway kit. Attach the BVM connector to the King Airway. While bagging the patient, simultaneously withdraw the airway until ventilation is easy and free flowing. Confirm proper positioning by auscultation, chest movement, and verification of CO2 by capnography if available. Secure the airway to the patient using tape or an approved commercial device. Ensure that you not, do not cover the proximal opening of the gastric access lumen. Immediately following the successful placement of the King Airway, apply an appropriately sized cervical collar. In the event a seat collar will not fit, manual in inline stabilization should be utilized if transported. Blankets, towels, and tape should be approved, should be used appropriately to restrict cervical spinal motion. No exceptions to this rule. If the patient is to be transported, they must be secured to a backboard as well.